I I have a problem with uh, what what they uh, uh, is said a lot today, especially by the False Memory Syndrome Foundation, that how could all of these people disappear, or how could all these babies be born? I worked with a nurse midwife. We did home births. And it's very easy not to register a child when it's born. And then they have these children that they are kidnapping and bringing in from other countries. And no one misses them because these are third world countries. And children are the, they have the most energy, the purest energy, the, they're the highest form of sacrifice and uh, they will terrorize these children and mind control these children and in rituals there when by the time they're brought into rituals they may be drugged or they may not be drugged or they may be in an altered state uh, because of the mind control and they are used as actual blood sacrifices um, during these rituals because of, again, reptilians needing their blood. And they will take various organs from the, the sacrifices um, depending on what date the ritual may, you know, what, what, what the ritual may be associated with on that date. But they will also slit the throat from the left ear to the right ear and the blood will be gathered in a goblet and it will be dispersed among the reptilians and uh, dispersed among also after that among people that are have been participating in these rituals and seem to have it even though they seem to be dissociated the uh, Mostly these people are seem to be cognizant of what what they are doing. Can we talk about some of the um, famous names that people around the world would know who, in your experience, have um, taken part in these rituals that you've conducted? You say you've conducted them in Europe and uh, the United States. Can we start with the United States? Uh, yes. Um, I have seen at rituals, I have seen George Bush... Um, I have seen um, Madeleine Albright. I have seen Henry Kissinger. Um, I have seen uh, Ronald Reagan. Um, and I have also, by the way, uh, seen his wife, Nancy Reagan. I have seen Hillary Clinton before I knew she was Hillary Clinton uh, at the time um, at these rituals. She is involved. Um, the other people that I have named and are as I have seen shapeshift into reptilians. Uh, I have not seen Hillary Clinton actually shapeshift, but I, she is involved. Um, I have seen the two sons when they were young, the two sons of um, of. George Bush present at these rituals. Are these the sons that have become governors? Yes. One is in Florida and one is in Texas. Um, I have seen, uh, uh, did I mention Jay Rockefeller? Um, and he shapes shifts. Um, I've seen George Duke Magian and uh, Ronald Reagan again, having been governor in California. Um, there have been people um, such as Newt Gingrich have I've seen I saw, and I didn't know at the time that he was Newt Gingrich. I recognized that he was Newt Gingrich when uh, Clinton came into power and after he was, uh, Newt Gingrich was then elected Speaker of the House and I was horrified to realize that this man was also there. Um, all of this is, has 
um, affected me to the point I don't vote. Um, all of these people seem to all be connected to the Illuminati, and I don't feel like being part of, of having anything to do with them. Presidents um, like um, uh, Carter and, and Ford and Clinton... And, I've seen um, Ford there. Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford, yes. Um, are, they, are they all reptilian bloodlines? I haven't seen Carter shapeshift. You've seen him at rituals, have you? Yes. Gerald Ford... I have seen shapeshift, um, and Johnson also. Lyndon the, Johnson. Lyndon Johnson. Um, also, uh, Dr. Joseph Mengele, who took me around to these uh, rituals a lot of the time, uh, was also a shapeshifter. And uh, there were also people that I, in, there are people in, uh, in the European countries that I've seen um, shapeshift and, and be involved. And this, uh, it does not. It doesn't surprise me any more than it does the uh, the people in this country doing it. It's just for some reason more shocking, and, and it, it cuts even deeper. Um, because I've seen the Queen Mother there, and I have seen uh, um, the Queen there. I've seen uh, Princess Margaret there. I've seen Charles there, um, and they shape shift. And I have seen um, this, I, and I'm not, I'm not coming up with his name right now, but he was president in France after de Gaulle. He was there, and I've seen him there. Um, I've seen uh, the Rothschilds there. I used to see uh, the Rothschild that lived in England there. But the one that still goes there and is a shapeshifter, Guy de Rothschild, Baron Guy de Rothschild, uh, has been to all of these rituals and has been over in this country under the name of Dr. Barrington and tried to program me and has, tried and has impregnated me several times with eggs that were taken from me years ago and were impregnated with uh, semen from Pindar and then placed back into my uterus. This has happened to me twice, uh, in, and once at age 39 and this year uh, right before I turned 43. And uh, I had told my therapist ahead of time before I ever could have known that this had been done to me. And uh, it's happened at a certain place in, in where I have been living in the, in the San Fernando Valley. It's happened at a house uh, on Tyrone Street uh, in Sherman Oaks. And my understanding is that uh, there have been other survivors that have talked about this location as having been involved with with uh, programming and so on. And he has, the uh, Baron Guy de Rothschild has tried to program me. Um, all these years he has been trying to control me, get me back under control. Um, and the Marquis de Libero is someone else that attends all of these functions and is since he is the one in power, he attends all these functions. Uh, I have seen Tony Blair there. Um, 
and he shapeshifts. Um, I have seen Prince Philip there. Um, they all have their quirks um, as, how, as to how they act even uh, in their reptilian form. Um, and they all, I mean, they, they act, they don't act all like robots, but they, they have their quirks, they have their, their uh, uh, so-called personalities, but they are all cold-blooded. Uh, they would kill at the drop of a hat. Um, I have even, since I've seen a picture of some people on that are talking about this subject, I've seen them. I've, when I've seen their pictures, I recognize them. I, I did a double take a few weeks ago when I saw again someone who's been talking about around this subject, and it seems to be uh, popular right now. Who's that? Uh, this man by the last name of Sitchin. Uh, I've seen at rituals, and he is a shapeshifter. And um, I did a double take when I saw when I saw him, the picture of him because I recognize him and uh, there's another person that I've seen uh, um, this uh, gardener uh, Sir Gardner that Lawrence Gardner um, Sir Lawrence Gardner uh, and, and he had recently written an article uh, that was out in Nexus magazine. Uh, part of it was about uh, the minstrel blood, and what really triggered me was when he ca called it Starfire, because that is one of the, that is the name of one of the aspects of the three uh, women who are are the, mo the dressed mother goddess. That is my name in in all of this. Um, so this man I have seen, he has lots of power in, within this, uh, sect of uh, reptilians, um, and he's someone that is, you would want, you would want to watch out for, um, out, outside of this too, um, as is this Sitchin person. Um, what do you remember about uh, Zachariah Sitchin? Zachariah Sitchin was someone in the rituals who are in attending the rituals who was not a major player in in as far as the rituals went, but was someone that that others present did not make remarks at or were very careful as to what they said around him. And um, he was talking about, he would be talking about um, doing away with people, uh, persons that, that were in his way or were not, were putting out information that, that he didn't feel that he wanted put out. Um, he he is very much a disinformer, um, and that is his job to disinform about what is going on with the Illuminati and with the reptilians. He actually warned me off from investigating the reptilians. Interestingly. Um, where do the rituals take place that you've been involved in, uh, involving the, the, the British royal family? Uh, Glamis Castle, Stonehenge, um, Balmoral Castle. Um, I have, have reason to believe there was a, there's a church, and I think it may be Westminster Abbey. Um, and... There is a, a Mothers of Darkness castle or chateau 
in Brussels, Belgium. They've been there too. And also in France, uh, the Marquis de Libero Pindar has a castle in the uh, Alsace-Lorraine region of France. And I believe it's in the Alsace region. Uh, that he uses and, and there are certain rituals done at that castle down in the dungeon part of that castle and there's an entrance down there to uh, underground uh, places in the earth and there is a natural uh, formation of rocks that kind of glow green and they keep menstrual blood in that uh, formation and it, this green uh, glowing from these rocks actually turns the blood a darker color and it's called black blood and it's used in certain rituals but there are also they, they keep small, there are smaller less developed little um, reptilians that are kept down there. They're kind of pets. But one other thing that's also down there, they have, there are eggs. It's like a, a, a nest of eggs kept down in that, in that part where it's warm. It's very warm down there in this, in, into this entrance. And uh, these eggs are kept down there incubating. And they are, rep they are the reptiles' eggs. And uh, that's where they, they keep them. What are your memories of conducting the rituals um, for the royal family? Um, uh, what happened? What, what were they doing? Um, one thing that, that sticks out in my mind um, is that there was before this was back this was back in in uh, the late 70s um, it, this was before Charles was married to Diana he was involved with Kamala Parker Bowles and she is does not shape shift, but she became pregnant by Charles, and she produced a baby, um, and this baby was presented at the ritual and killed, and that is the price, uh, the firstborn between these two, and eventually these two will marry. And that, that, is, that is the price that is to be paid, the, the sacrifice of the firstborn between the union of these two people. And uh, I've seen that there. I, something else that sticks out in my mind is that some, it was sometime, it was around uh, the late 80s that I saw a very kind of dark man that I, I that I, he was Arabic. It seemed to be Arabic or, or Egyptian or, and I, I heard the name Fayed being mentioned. And uh, the Queen Mother was there and I called her the Black Queen. And she and he see, were talking very seriously and at some length about a subject. They were mentioning uh, Diana, and they were mentioning his son, Dodie. And at the time, I didn't know who Dodie was. I knew who Diana was. I never saw her at any rituals. Um, Where did this conversation take place? This took place at Balmoral Castle. Um, and 
I heard them talking about a marriage between these two, and I thought at the time, well, she's married to Charles. How can there be a marriage where she's married to Charles? I didn't understand why the queen, the, the, uh, queen mother and uh, uh, this person that I now know to be Dodi Fayed's, because I heard Fayed, um, Muhammad al-Fayed, um, talking. And I'd seen them together at, uh, I saw them at Balmoral Castle. I overheard the conversation at Balmoral. But I'd seen them also at uh, Mothers of Darkness uh, Chateau in Brussels. And they were talking about uh, a union between Diana and uh, his son Doty back in the late 80s. And I did not understand at that time because I understood Diana to be married to Charles. I knew that she was married to Charles and they had two children. And uh, they were about to have another. Um, and uh, the Queen Mother, I picked, I, all I could pick up was that, that for some reason that there was a malevolence towards Diana. And I, Diana I had never seen at a ritual. Um, I wondered what she knew about all of this. What have you seen um, the royal family do, the Queen, the Queen Mother, and uh, the other people you've seen in the rituals? What, what have you seen them do? I've seen all of them drink human blood and consume human flesh, and uh, they have their own um, goblets in which they have blood and these these goblets are encrusted with jewels um, and they also have their own daggers and that that the dagger goes into the goblet and they stir the blood around with it and it, it's also a um, what it is it's a symbol of the of the phallus going into the vagina when they're doing this. And um, I've seen them do this, and they, some of them have even, like the, the uh, Queen Mother I saw with, she had her own um, little, I, I would like almost, it's between a, a very elaborate ornate chair or a throne kind of thing brought in for her to sit. And um, because before these rituals actually start, um, there is a kind of uh, people um, move around the room and talk um, or, or recognize one another. It's a formal kind of a ritualistic setup, the way they talk and the way they, they intro they're introduced, they introduce each other. It's like a court. What are they wearing? They're wearing uh, robes. They're not wearing anything underneath the robes. And the robes are um, very ornate. Um, they all have, the one thing in common they have is they have a, a red color, like blood. And some of them have purple. And um, they have... Uh, gold uh, kinds of lines running through them. They have the uh, the Merovingian um, symbol of France, the uh, fleur de lis, um, and um, there are jewels that are sewn in at certain points on these robes, and um, they wear these robes, but they don't wear anything underneath the, the robes because what is going to happen, what the rituals are all about. They're going to shape shift and they can't have anything on under the robes. 
and there are there are orgy kind of things that go on at the rituals also. And uh, involving the, the royal family of Britain. Yes, involving the royal family of Britain and and the sacrifice and the eating of consuming the sacrifice and they are involved in that. You've seen them do that? Yes, I have seen them do that. 